What's up, everybody? I hope you guys are having a good Christmas. I'm doing this unboxing video a bit late, but I was only able to get this yesterday. Long story. This is called Pure Soar for the Sega Dreamcast. It is a new RPG that was originally released on the Sega Genesis, but the Dreamcast version just came out. And I've been waiting for this to show up, and I've been very anxious to play this. Anyway, guys, this is the unboxing video. Now, the game actually comes in a very interesting type of packaging, as you guys can see. And it's got two, I guess you call ribbons, which are basically seals of quality, which is interesting. Alright, guys, I'm going to take the packaging out, and then I'll show you guys the actual case, and then we'll take a look at the contents. Alright, guys, it took Pure Sore out of its case, and interestingly, it does not actually have cellophane on the actual case, which is interesting, but I guess they didn't need it. As you guys can see, it's got some pretty interesting artwork. It's one player, but apparently there's actually a four player, I guess, bonus mode, which I am looking forward to trying. And it's compatible with the VMU, and it's got like a 16 by 9 widescreen mode and all that. Like, there's some interesting features. Okay. And... The screenshots certainly make the game look like it's going to be good. Okay. Okay, guys, this is like a mini poster that comes with Pure Solar, and it's pretty interesting. Okay, guys, we actually also get some interesting stickers here. And actually, I like some of these. Okay, guys, first thing... Oh. Okay, that's the front artwork, which is actually... Not part of the manual. Okay, that's new. Well, the manual certainly looks pretty good, guys. It's actually in full color. That's pretty rare nowadays. I'm going to have to read through this for a while. Alright guys, here's Pure Solar. Here's the disc. Pretty nice label, it looks pretty cool. Alright guys, that's Pure Solar. I just wanted to show you guys that. I'm going to start playing this and hopefully I will have some gameplay up soon and I'll probably try and do a review on this as soon as I can. I will talk to you guys later. This is the Entertainment Wizard, signing off.